Hello and welcome. I'm your host, the Highway Ghost. Today I'm in the Florida Panhandle in Gulf Breeze, a small area located in northwest Florida, not far from the Alabama state line. And it has always been the home of UFO sightings. Okay, this is Collie Cove Drive in Gulf Breeze, Florida. And back in the 80s, that was where the UFO was spotted in that neighborhood. Right there, where Ed Walters filmed it and photographed it. Very cool. You can't go in, it's private property. But that was where it happened. And this area right over here was where in the 80s, I think it was 1987, Mr. Ed Walter photographed one of the most awesome UFO pictures in this whole area or even really in the world but you can't go over to Collie Cove on the other side where he lived but this is another drive that we were able to access because it's gated off but that right there was where that famous photo was taken they wrote a book the Walters wrote a book called the Gulf Breeze sightings and it became quite famous in the ufology history of actual UFO sightings but Gulf Breeze is a hot spot. That is the UFO model made by Ed Walter. And it was found in his home. It says UFO model consisting of two styrofoam plates attached by a strip of paper. Found in his home before he moved out of Pensacola. Claimed to have spotted UFOs. So that's Ed Walter's UFO model, found in the attic of his home before he moved out of Pensacola, Florida. Centennial paper reads, Gulf Breeze UFO photographed again. So. Wow, that article was from 1988. It's a very beautiful part of the country in the panhandle of northwest Florida. But not only does it have beautiful scenery, palm trees, and sunny weather, but it's also got a history of an incident that took place right beyond those tree lines in the year of 1987. A local man by the name of Ed Walters would document and photograph UFO photos on Collie Cove Drive across from this park that would forever be a part of ufologist studies and the history of UFOs. Now, a lot of people said, oh, it was just photographs, it was a hoax that he took pictures of a model. But I find it strange that authorities seized his UFO model from his attic after he left. Why would law enforcement be interested in a little piece of styrofoam made into a UFO if there wasn't something to the story? Right past these trees is a gated off community where it happened. The skies right there is where the UFO hovered over Ed Walter's home hundreds of eyewitnesses and stories started to flow out of this area. I guess people didn't want to say anything until it was published in the Centennial paper. So what truly happened in Gulf Breeze? If you're a true believer in the supernatural such as me, you'll understand that UFOs and paranormal is very real. And right there, is like the Roswell of Florida. Although the craft didn't crash, it hovered long enough for photos to be taken that were very clear. A round disc shaped object was photographed. Almost as close as the tree line. I mean it was like right over his house. And I truly believe that that was authentic just like all other ufologists that come and study this place. 
even though that is on private property and they get it off community people still park over there to see if they can actually catch a glimpse of the ufo they've actually spotted what they said was the faceless man driving an suv that's dark it's like a men in black kind of situation and also there's a a red light that will appear in the sky so frequent that the locals gave it the nickname of Bubba. But this is Ground Zero Gulf Breeze, Florida. Always wanted to come here and check this out. Shoreline Park is a place to look for UFOs. I got lucky and got to see the original model of Ed's UFO that he made out of like styrofoam plates. It's actually currently on display at a local mini golf place. It's very cool. The college loaned it to him to make it a part of the display because there's no museum, there's really nothing except that one little UFO's mini golf. And they have like a few movie posters and games and it's kind of UFO themed to remember the Gulf Breeze incident of 1987. I asked a lady out there if she knew about it and she acted kind of kind of strange like she said no I never heard of it and just like ran into her house. I said, we well, should check it out. It's interesting. How could you live in this area and not know about something as famous as Roswell happening out west in New Mexico? This is the, one of the biggest UFO hotspots in the world. I've often wondered if extraterrestrials don't come to our planet in certain areas more than others. Could this be the end of some kind of vortex or you know like what they call a wormhole in space since this is not far from the Bermuda Triangle you know the ley lines align with areas like this but who knows we just have to keep looking up into the skies Highway Ghosts, Gulf Breeze, Florida Thanks for watching.